Tonight, a remarkable and exclusive story about trying to get water to New York City from reservoirs upstate. It sounds difficult, and it is. In fact, it's even harder than it sounds. The most expensive water project in New York City history being built to last for generations, lots of generations, and it's happening in a secret location in the city. With the first ever look, here's Kimberly Richardson. This nail-biting scene from Die Hard 3 unfolding in a fictitious water tunnel in New York City. Make sure you leave that radio this is the real deal in an undisclosed location in Queens. We are the first news crew to go deep inside roughly 175 feet. I met up with DEP Commissioner Rohit Agarwal right in the middle of this massive site, the most expensive water project ever here in the city, a price tag of roughly $6 billion dollars. Like we're making an investment here that isn't about the next 10 years, it's about the next 100 or 200 years. Construction began in 1970, a way to carry water from reservoirs in upstate New York to the city. So-called tunnel number one was finished in 1917, number two, 1936. And now this, one of two shafts, which deep below where we are standing, will lead to tunnel number three. It's a crucial component. Think of it as backup for tunnels one and two. They're very stable, but it is good practice when we think about something this important to have full redundancy. Mayor Adams recently took a look around this gaping hole which will eventually be filled with among other things concrete and pipes. Pipes to actually bring that water up, pipes and, and pumps to connect it to the water mains at the surface that distribute it out to the water mains on your street and into your building. The work here will continue. Crews will blast down another roughly 600 feet. At that point, this shaft will narrow to about 20 feet wide and connect to Tunnel 3. The commissioner tells me there is light at the end of this tunnel. Everything is expected to be fully operational in 2032.